We are proud to present Blueback Rocks QI, a unique multidisciplinary solution to predict reservoir parameters. Using a highly dynamic data analysis engine as a backbone, it covers a wide range of varied rock physics and seismic reservoir characterization workflows, establishing a new milestone in effectivity and productivity. Blueback Rocks QI is a set of high-end tools designed to apply rock physics using seismic-derived attributes to predict reservoir parameters. It is fully integrated into Petrel, architected to work as a highly interactive tool across multidisciplinary QI domains. This presentation showcases a few high-level examples of what an interpreter can do with ROX QI. The application is fully integrated into Petrel and it starts from the Blueback Marina environment. It contains several tools and workflows designed to effectively assist interpreters in quantitative interpretation tasks. The first group of tools are called Essentials and Utilities, and they allow the user to visualize, analyze, edit, QC, and calibrate data. With the Blueback Investigator, which constitutes a backbone piece around ROCKS QI, the user can create and view cross plots based on various input data types and easily identify trends and anomalies. It is one of the most powerful cross plotting tools available in the industry. The workflows inside ROCKS QI allow to perform tasks for forward 1, 2, and 3D modeling, creation and editing of rock physics models to run different fluid substitution cases, to classify data applying several approaches like AVO, waveform Bayesian, etc. Using color inversion, it is possible to generate acoustic impedance volumes. Further, the user can find the optimum chi angle to distinguish different facies analyzing extended elastic impedance logs. An important seismic net pay workflow allows geoscientists to define a tuning wedge model that is calibrated to a band-limited impedance. This example demonstrates the Blueback Investigator displaying a classic acoustic impedance versus VPVS plot. The Petrel 3D window and the well section window are both linked to the cross plot and the user can easily select and highlight any group of points and see where they locate in real space. In this case, the anomaly points belong to the gas presence in the reservoir. Using rock physics models is essential to understand the conditions of the rocks driving the characteristics of the reservoir. To this, we need to understand and model burial depth trends the possible presence of different types of minerals, facies, and fluid content. In this example, the user is using the interactive capabilities of rock physics modeling to adapt a friable sand model to the present data situation. By introducing local geological knowledge about rocks and minerals, it is possible to create a better match to the data in the reservoir. This model can be used later on to derive other elastic properties. The fluid substitution tool uses the Gassman equations to calculate the fluid content replacement of the rock. It allows various what-if scenarios to be played out, replacing existing initial fluids with various combinations of hydrocarbons, and seeing the effect this has on the rock properties. The fluid substitution QC plot has an extra option compared to standard QC plots. There is an option to color the data but fluid cases. Any points that have been fluid substituted will be marked as either oil or gas. The user can also visually compare the effect of the substitution between original and computed logs. Next, using the Synthetics tool, the interpreter computes synthetic seismic gathers from VP, VS and density input data and compares the results to a selected real seismic trace. To calculate the reflectivities, several options are available, including for example the well-known two-term or three-term equations from Shuey or Aki and Richards. Results can be directly used inside Petrel without importing or exporting any external data. 
If you are interpreting seismic data and you are dealing with thin beds around 10 to 20 milliseconds thick, you need to study the effects of thin beds. A synthetic seismic wedge model can be used to calibrate seismic waveforms and interpret data in a geological way. The tuning wedge tool allows investigating tuning effects. First, it blocks the selected well locks between designated markers, creating an optimized blocked model. The fully interactive tool allows the user to investigate effects of fluid substitution and also calculate and model AVO effects using theoretical Zerbritz plots. Applying these workflows, the interpreter can understand how the seismic response changes as a function of layer thickness. The model is then used with the middle block depths pinched out to create a tuning wedge. The user can now start building simple 2D wedges. Later on, more realistic 3D wedges can be made allowing parameters to change in the third dimension, for example, to investigate the effect a varying wavelet frequency has on the wedge. This allows an interpreter to understand wedged artifacts, like bright or dim spots related to tuning thickness, mistimed events like apparent elevation of the top and limits of resolution on thin beds. The aim of seismic data conditioning task is to understand and minimize any possible error sources that could distort the seismic signal and hence disturb the real effects of small but significant AVO effects. This can be differences between the angle stacks in phase, time shifts, spectral content and unbalanced amplitudes. Blowback SDC is a highly interactive tool where all adjustments are done virtually and the effects of any parameter changes can be visualized and quantified directly inside Petrel. A logical sequence would be to transform the angle stacks first to zero phase, then perform a spectral balance analysis, followed by adjusting variable time shifts along an interpreted surface. Finally, an amplitude balance analysis matches seismic amplitudes to the AVO response at the well. Know that the user is doing all calculations interactively and that he can immediately visualize and assess the effect of applying any conditioning step. Finally, STC generates a virtual seismic attribute that contains the AVO classes. The color scale represents the different classes, while the intensity represents the strength of the AVO anomaly away from the background trend. Together with the AVO crossplot, the user has a powerful tool at hand to estimate the AVO behavior of the anomaly at a very early stage in the workflow. The trace collector of Gather Window offers a unique way to compare various different traces in one place. With it, the user can align any set of relevant traces side by side and estimate the changes across the calculated attributes in detail. Here, we appreciate how the user plots the near to far traces to see the changes after applying the conditioning steps. The key to using AVO for fluid identification is comparison of real data with a reference, in this case a synthetic seismogram. Densities and velocities of fluid saturated rocks needed for the calculation of synthetic traces either come from logs or have been estimated using the rocks QI workflows we briefly showed before. The traces show the expected AVO effect for each fluid type. Here, we can see the estimated AVO effects at the well in the form of an AVO class log. Additionally, the user displays an AVO strength log to see how strong the effect is expected to be. Now the user applies a very similar workflow, but this time using seismic angle stack data that has been properly conditioned using the Blueback STC tool. This time the system generates an AVO class volume, which together with the AVO class plot is extremely useful to identify potential AVO anomalies. Thanks to the high level of integration inside Petrel, the user is able to rapidly calculate and compare AVO effects both at the well and in the seismic without shuffling data in and out and in again. The extended elastic impedance as a seismic attribute was first introduced by Whitcomb in 2002 as a method for fluid and lithology prediction. EEI is a projection through the origin of log acoustic impedance versus log of gradient impedance crossplot. 
So by changing the angle of projection chi, EEI, can be optimized to highlight the differences between facies, such as hydrocarbon and brine sands, or between suns and shales. After coloring these values by facies, the user looks for the optimum chi angle by projecting the data onto a histogram and choosing the angle which gives the optimum separation between facies. Once the optimal angle is found, EEI can be calculated from the original log data. Using the waveform classification tool, the interpreter searches the 3D seismic data to find specific waveform segments which most closely fit the data. The tool finds the cross-correlation coefficient between each selected waveform and the search seismic trace segment. The waveform with the highest cross-correlation factor is declared a winner. Using petrol point interpretation, the interpreter chooses the different waveforms and their characteristic locations to represent different facies, so that the results of the search generate a facies map along the selected surface. The classified area in red at the border may represent potential hydrocarbon bearing sands and correlate nicely with high amplitudes shown previously in the RMS amplitude plot. Now we can appreciate how the user designs an operator wavelet for color inversion. The tool is effectively split into three sections, calculating an average well spectrum, calculating an average seismic spectrum, and finally a quality control step for the final operator. Inversion takes away the effect of the wavelet in seismic data and converts it to a much closer representation of the rock property that originated seismic reflections, acoustic impedance. As such, it is essential within any quantitative interpretation workflow. Using Petrel's GeoBody voxel transparency functionality, the user is isolating areas from the color inverted volume which can be associated with sands. The seismic net pay tool estimates net pay in thin reservoirs, following the approach outlined in Connolly, 2007. The workflow is interactive, robust, and easy to use. Rocks QI delineates the workflow steps required to successfully apply this methodology. First, conditioning seismic data to remove unwanted processing effects then determine extended elastic impedance at the chi angle which best discriminates between pay and non-pay. From the intercept and gradient seismic volumes, create a reflectivity volume at this chi angle. This reflectivity volume should then be color inverted to produce a band-limited extended elastic impedance volume. At this point, the interpreter picks two surfaces on the color inverted EEI volume, one at the zero crossing or just above the top of the reservoir, the other one at the zero crossing or immediately below the base of the reservoir. After calculation, the tool produces a net pay map plus additional QC maps like seismic net pay thickness or seismic net to gross. To resume, we have now seen how ROC's quantitative interpretation is addressing concrete problems when it comes to build the difficult bridge between geophysical measurements and geological interpretation. It allows interpreters to work in a more quantitative manner without having to depend on many other external packages. It delivers a significantly better way to increase the ability of assessing reservoir potentials. And because of its consistent design and tight integration with Petrel, it offers the same look and feel across multiple disciplines. This makes it very easy to use and a perfect tool even for the occasional user. Thank you very much.